Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael and today we are looking at another K Xbox um, creation. Is This is just an individual coaster creation made by Corvus. So if you're not followed to him, the link is in the description below. Make sure to go check out his work as his channel has just absolutely exploded in the past two to three months and continues to grow. So make sure and go check out his work as it's really, really good. But this is called, this is an Intamin uh, Megalite called Precinct, and the description says, Hi everyone, this is an Intamin Megalite I created. It's probably my most realistic creation yet. It's inspired by a number of different coasters, new gen Intamins especially. It took around 10 hours to create. Hope you all enjoy. Welcome to the Precinct. So I am really, really excited to kind of get started looking at this coaster and just from these kind of cinematic shots i mean it looks so well done i haven't been on an intimate megalite before um you know i've seen videos a lot of them seem to be in the uk or not necessarily just in the uk but in europe um, it seems like in america we don't have a lot of these i could be wrong on that um, but as we're kind of walking around i love this fencing this fencing is awesome it's something that's so simple to do you just got a piece of glass you got your your um your wall piece and then you've got the um i forget what those pieces are called the scaffolding pieces to kind of separate the where the glass would have kind of the indentions that you can see where it meets but just perfect perfectly placed walls and then i love that kind of almost reminds me of fury 325 kind of like the hive stuff that you go through when you go through that tunnel um, so those kind of creations right there they're really 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 cool and like what i guess makes an intimate megalite is it the fact that it's is there like a certain height that kind of considers it a megalite is it a certain layout because i know some of the new original intimate megalites didn't go upside down they kind of had a very unique layout where I mean, they kind of just circled around itself a couple times if that makes sense but yeah so um this looks really cool it looks like it might be custom supported i don't know about that for sure but it looks like it could be custom supported but really cool looks like it's got a good first drop a lot of nice foliage around and the pacing looks really good as well so just the views that you get from the path are really really awesome like I could just imagine if this was a real coaster just taking a seat on on a bench in this area and just, just watching the coaster go or trying to get a lot of good footage. So it looks really, really cool. It looks like it's got a fair amount of inversions too for it being kind of a shorter layout. So really good job. And I think we're about to head up the, oh, we're going to the transfer. There's the backstage area where you got the transfer track and stuff. So I think we take a look at that in the end a little bit more. But you can see some spare track pieces sitting there. So that's a cool, cool touch. So now we are heading up the entrance to Precinct. And really, really good job of hiding the wall sign. So it says the zero minute wait because the park is not open for guests. <laughs> um, no, this is a really good job. And oh, I love that that detail right there of having that scaffolding wall piece and then you put the chain link fence through it. You know, I just like seeing new ways that people kind of create these um, custom fences and stuff. So really, really cool to see as we see the coaster kind of near in the end of the layout here. Yeah, really, really well done. And there's a spare coaster on the transfer track. So I will actually link the video below on how you put a spare coaster on the transfer track because I did a tutorial on that a few weeks back. And oh my gosh, this station is awesome. Like look at the roof. Not very um, realistic for if it's raining, but an amazing looking roof. And now let's go ahead and take a ride on the coaster.
That is an excellent coaster. As we now see the kind of backstage area, you got the transfer track, you got some extra um, beams hanging there. Um, one thing that I wish we would be shown is how you put that trans, like how you kind of hid the fact that you have to have the coaster track, like another coaster actually come up to that to, to have that extra coaster on the track. But I love that station. That is an amazing view. I mean, look at the coaster here right at the ending. It looks absolutely beautiful. I, I love the layout. I think it's a very strong layout. In Corvus, I believe most, if not all, of his coasters are created using the four meter method, which is why it takes a while. And he does custom inversions, custom everything. And you can tell a lot of thought and a lot of um, care has been put into this creation. As you can see, just the, the level of detail and the realism aspect of it. And a lot of the kind of overbank turns and a lot of the kind of small where you get like a small hill and then you kind of before you go all the way back to the ground you kind of go up again and, and bank sharply and like I said before I love kind of the little pieces of scenery that the coaster goes through so I'd love to get your thoughts on this coaster as we now kind of get an overview of the overall layout um, I love seeing these individual coaster builds they're just really, really cool to me as I'm working on a Giga one right now. Um, but this is, you know, really cool to see and to see kind of the design and how anywhere, any part of the path you're on, you can get a really good visual of the coaster. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. As I said before, make sure to go check out Corvus's channel and subscribe to him as he puts out great content on Xbox. And make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. So you can stay up to date with the videos Jasmine and I release and hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.